Hello, this is Angelo Leong with Lab 16. For Lab 16, the objective is to create and use resource pools on an ESXi host. So for the first task, we're going to create a CPU contention. Next, I powered on student VM1 and student VM2, and I opened the console for both and logged on as sysadmin. And now I'm going to run the CPU busy Python script. And this will basically run continuously for about a minute or two. And it's basically performing floating point computations repeatedly. It will also display how long it took to do the computation in seconds. And then I'll be running the same Python script on the student VM2. Next, I'm going to be modifying the student VM1 virtual hardware settings. That's just a right click on the VM and edit settings. And we're going to set the scheduling affinity to 1. And then hit OK. And we're going to do the same thing for VM2. And then as we can see here on student VM1 and 2, you can see that the runtimes have changed from the 30s and 40s, 0.30s and 0.40 seconds to now 0.50s and 0.70s. For task two, we're going to create a resource pool named FinTest, and we're going to create it under for the host ESXi one host. And that's just a right click and new resource pool. We're going to name it fin-test, and we're going to set the shares from normal to low and hit OK. For task 3, we're going to create a resource pool named fin-prod and it's the same as what we did for the fin-test. We're going to create it for ESXi1 host. That's just a right click and then select new resource pool. I named it fin-prod and I set the shares from normal to high and then hit OK. So task 4 asks us to verify the resource pool functionality. So I clicked on fin-prod, I went to summary, and here under resource settings for CPU, I see that it's noted as high, and then when I check fin-test, the CPU shows up as low. Now I've moved um, the student VM1 to fin-prod, and I moved student VM2 to under fin-test. So we can see here, the script shows that student VM1 has a faster processing versus student VM2 is much, much slower at one point something something seconds. Now I'm editing the resource settings for both the CPU shares from uh, for the prod from high to normal and for fin dash test from low to normal. And I'll let that update a bit and then when I go back to check they should be about the same again with each other. So we see here is about 0.4 something, 0.5 something, and student VM2. We can see that it's slowly averaging itself out to be similar to student VM1. And that's it.